this video we are going to discuss about the gauss seidel method problem problem number 1 the system data for the load flow solution are given in table determine the voltages at the end of first iteration by gauss seidel method take the acceleration factor alpha equal to 1.6 so here the line datas are given bus code and admittance values are given and here the bus datas the real power reactive power and voltage specified and the bus details are given so with the help of this datas we are going to draw a network so by observing this uh, datas we understood that you will be having four buses so totally in the bus code you can see the maximum number of buses four draw all lines like this and name the buses bus 1 bus 2 bus 3 and bus 4 and connect 1 and 2 2 and 3 2 4 3 4 1 3 and, and enter all the admittance value over there okay now in the gauss method the very first step is you need to determine the y bus matrix so form y bus matrix consider the network in this network half line charging admittances or line charging admittances are not given so we are going to consider only the admittance which is given in the problem first we determine the diagonal elements of y bus matrix y11 equal to in the first bus two lines are connected 1 2 and 1 3 we just add these two admittances you'll be getting the y11 value similarly for second bus three lines are connected that is 2 1 then 2 3 and 2 4 just add all these three uh, admittances you'll be getting y22 value and y33 third bus three lines are connected y31 y32 and y34 so add all those things you'll be getting the answer and y44 the fourth bus only two lines are connected y43 and 42 just add these two values 1 minus j4 and 2 minus j8 you'll be getting the y44 value now you are going to determine the off diagonal elements of the y bus matrix y12 that is equal to y21 and that is equal to minus of small y12 that is negative of the admittances connected between the two buses 1 and 2 that is minus negative of 2 minus j8 that is equal to minus 2 plus j8 similarly for other off diagonal elements y23 equal to y32 and that is equal to minus y23 that will be equal to minus 0.666 plus j2.664 similarly for other one y13 is equal to y31 so you will be getting minus y13 and y24 equal to y42 that is equal to minus y24 y34 equal to y43 and that is equal to minus y34 and finally y14 is equal to y41 and that is equal to minus y14 and there is no lines connected between bus 1 and 4 that's why it is equal to 0 now you are going to enter all the values in a matrix format to form a y bus matrix it is a 4 cross 4 matrix since this system is of a 4 bus system so y bus matrix is of 4 cross 4 matrix step 2 set flat profile voltage to all the buses except slack bus so we need to consider all the bus voltages as 1 plus j0 or one angle zero so v2 power 0 v3 power 0 and v4 power 0 as one angle zero or one plus j0 from the given data you can observe that first bus is a slack bus voltage and angle are specified and it is a slack bus you have to consider this 1.06 angle zero as it is throughout the problem and whatever may be the number of iteration the slack bus voltage remains constant the remaining three buses are pq bus or load bus and those voltages are not given we need to assume the flat profile voltage for all the three buses as one angle zero so for slack bus voltage remains at the specified value for all the iteration so v1 power 0 v1 power 1 v1 power 2 up to v1 power k equal to 1.06 plus j0 where k represents the iteration count k equal to 0 for first iteration and now we are going to move on to the third step before getting into the third step we need to understand the, what are all the given data So first bus is a slack bus. In the problem, it is asked that you need to determine the bus voltages at the end of first iteration. In the slack bus, bus voltages are specified, and in these three buses, voltages are not specified. Okay, so these three buses are load bus. How we can identify that it is a load bus? You can see this uh, table. Load for load bus or PQ bus, quantity specified will be P and Q, and the quantities to be obtained will be magnitude of voltage and angle. remaining all the three buses are of load bus okay you need to obtain voltage for all the three buses bus 2 bus 3 and bus 4 first we start with bus 2 and this is a voltage equation using this equation we are going to determine the bus voltages at the end of the first iteration so for first iteration you need to substitute k equal to 0 in this formula where p is bus number and n is number of buses considering this formula so first bus 2 is a load bus 
for bus 2 voltage p equal to 2 n equal to 4 and k equal to 0 so it is a first iteration so substituting the values p equal to 2 so v p power k plus 1 k is 0 so it become v 2 power 1 and that will be equal to 1 divided by y p p and p p minus j q p p 2 minus j q 2 divided by v 2 power 0 conjugate minus here we need to look carefully in the summation q varies from 1 to p minus 1 that means q varies from 1 to p values 2 so 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 ok so q varies from 1 to 1 only one variable will be getting in this summation point ok so y 2 1 v 1 power k plus 1 is k is 0 so 1 ok so p is 2 q is 1 so only one this term alone comes from the first summation point and in the second summation q varies from p plus 1 so p is 2 plus 1 that is equal to 3 and from 3 to n n is total number of bus total number of bus equal to 4 so 3 to 4 q varies from 3 to 4 so q equal to 3 and q equal to 4 two terms will be there ok and we know that p equal to 2 so p is 2 q is 3 and v 3 power k here the formula is k so v 3 power 0 similarly p is 2 q is 4 q 4 power 0 now we are going to substitute the values in this equation so consider the bus data given in the second bus real power value p is given as 0.5 reactive power value q is given as 0.2 okay so take this bus and substitute over here and since it is a load bus you need to substitute these values you need to substitute these values in negative minus 0.5 and minus 0.2 in the formula itself one more minus is there so it becomes plus so minus 0.5 plus j 0.2 here you can substitute y22 from y bus and all the y values are from y bus matrix you can directly take and this v1 power 1 is a slack bus voltage you can take from the second step and v3 power 0 v4 power 0 also you can take from the second step where we initialize the voltage to flat profile simplify this you will be getting this minus 0.5 plus j.2 and the second term become 2.12 minus j 8.48 third term becomes like this and the fourth term will be like this so divide use the complex mode in the calculator so that it will be easy for you to obtain the answer in an easy manner so you'll be getting an answer like this 1.0119 minus j.029 per unit and in polar form it is 1.012 angle minus 1.63 per unit and now we determine the bus voltage at bus 2 and one extra information is given in this problem that is acceleration factor alpha is given as 1.6 so you need to consider the acceleration factor for faster convergence so consider this formula vp acceleration power k plus 1 equal to vp power k plus alpha into vp power k plus 1 minus vp power k after determining this acceleration voltage you need to set the voltage bus voltage equal to the acceleration voltage so considering bus 2 v2 acceleration equal to v2 power 0 plus alpha into v2 power 1 minus v2 power 0 substituting the values so v2 power 0 from the second step alpha is given v2 power 1 is from the third step the previous step we determine the final answer no so from there you can substitute here and v2 power 0 is from second step calculating the value so you'll be getting the answer like this v2 power 1 acceleration equal to this one and now you need to set this v2 power 1 is equal to v2 acceleration for further steps you need to consider this answer as v2 power 1 we should not take the previous answer and second we are going to consider the bus 3 and bus 3 also will load bus so substitute p equal to 3 n equal to 4 and k equal to 0 in this formula you will be obtaining this uh, equation v3 power 1 equal to 1 by y3 3 and p3 minus j q3 divided by v3 power 0 conjugate minus second term is q varies from 1 to p minus 1 here p is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 so q varies from 1 to 2 so two terms comes from the first uh, this uh, summation so q varies from 1 to 2 so q is 1 and q is 2 so here p is 3 q is 1 similarly p is 3 q is 2 so like that two, this two terms comes from the first summation point first summation and from the second summation p is 3 3 plus 1 is 4 so 4 to n is 4 so 4 to 4 only one term comes so p is 3 q is 4 direct substitution in this equation and now you are going to substitute the values so observe this uh, bus data the third bus real power is 0.4 reactive power is 0.3 substitute these values in a negative minus 0.4 plus j mi uh, minus 0.4 minus j.3 already one more minus is there in the formula so it become plus and substitute all the values and simplify using a complex uh, mode in a calculator so you will be getting this answer 
and now we are going to consider the acceleration factor formula substitute the values and we will be getting the acceleration value of the voltage and finally you need to set the v3 power 1 is equal to v3 power 1 acceleration similarly for the third bus similarly for the fourth bus bus 4 it is also a load bus the same procedure continues p equal to 4 n equal to 4 and k equal to 0 using the same formula so here p4 minus jq4 divided by v4 power 0 conjugate and in summation q varies from 1 to p minus 1 p is 4 here so 4 minus 1 is 3 so totally three terms you will be getting here 1 2 and 3 so p is 2 q is 1 and here q is 2 and here q is 3 okay and what about the second this summation q equal to p plus 1 p is 4 so 4 plus 1 is 5 so 5 to 4 we cannot uh, use this term since the total number of buses only 4 so substitute all the values don't forget to substitute the power value in negative and simplifying you will be getting the final answer in polar and rectangular form then considering the acceleration factor for the fourth bus substitute the values in the acceleration formula and you will be getting the final answer like this so this is how you have to solve the power flow analysis using gauss seidel method